Townsville is a fantastic place. It's my home. It's right next to the Great Barrier Reef. It's a very interesting city with a population of around 200,000. It's very diverse. The region as a whole, I believe, is still growing in a dynamic way. I think Townsville is big enough to have its own cycles in the economy, but it's small enough to allow efficiencies. In Townsville, you can get to everywhere within less than half an hour. I think our remoteness from the capital cities, we've all got that attitude of if you need something, you make it yourself. We are unique in that we've got so many large industries that feed through Townsville. We have the lifestyle, but we also have the minimum size that means economically we can generate our own business. A lot of locals don't know how good that we've got it. I think certainly the people in the science community do. James Cook University is a centre of expertise for coral reefs in the tropics, medicine in the tropics. We have the technology to make living in the tropics very comfortable now. We have got the best solar resources in Australia and probably among the best on the planet. It's a place where there actually is, although it's sometimes hidden, a whole lot of skills that you don't know about. And people come here and stay because they like it. The opportunities, particularly in my kind of professional sphere, working for a regional firm or regional business, you actually are able to shine. But what I've noticed, probably in the last two to three years, people are standing up, they've got an idea, and they're willing to give it a go even if they fail. And I think this is kind of Townsville 2.0. There's more of a can-do mentality. People here are just more likely to roll their sleeves up, get in, solve a problem. Perhaps it's a North Queensland attitude. We have to be innovative. There are many people that are exporting out of Townsville to around the world. I see Townsville in a very strong position and the opportunities here are huge. Look at the investment that is now being pushed into Townsville by all levels of state government. Those things are key indicators of growth. We've had a bit of a lull. We're probably moving into a period where Townsville is going to have the luxury of a number of large ticket projects that are not only big for Townsville, but they actually shine a spotlight on Townsville nationally and perhaps internationally. Townsville will just continue to grow. And in fact, it'll grow, I believe, faster than the rest of the nation. This is a region that is on the cusp of some phenomenally exciting things. And I think the city you see today will not be the city you see in three to five years time. There's enormous agricultural assets just to the south with Burdekin River Dam, six times the volume of Sydney Harbour. Tourism assets here are completely underexploited. The economy of northern Australia where we're placed, you know, from a city we have got so many things to offer. We're not the far north anymore, we're all connected and you know our office is in a beautiful environment with lovely weather. There's a really strong camaraderie around women doing business and a lot of female entrepreneurs. We can work and push our creativity to the limits, but we're still accessible to the rest of the world. There's really no other place I'd like to live or run a business. If you feel that places like Melbourne or Sydney are a bit too stagnant and are not moving forward at the sort of pace that you want to go, come to Townsville because this is where the action is. It is a magnificent lifestyle, and I love the people in Townsville. They're friendly, they're open, they've got a real can-do attitude.